All right, so we're making sure our document is open, and then we got to also make sure that it's called interface, spacebar, and then your initials. So um, here we go. We get to check in the upper left corner of our um, screen here. Um, it says interface, spacebar, my initials, so I labeled my document correctly. Okay, um, there's my digital canvas. The next tool that we're going to want to focus on is the zoom tool. It looks like a magnifying glass. And in parentheses is a shortcut, which is Z. Remember, shortcuts save us a lot of time. So super important that we use those. So again, the shortcut is Z. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Z, and it changes to a magnifying glass. Now you notice there's a plus in there, OK? That's going to tell me that I'm zooming in. So I'm in the Z zoom tool, right? And I'm just going to put my pen to the pad and just click. And you notice it zoomed in a little bit more. And you can see the percentage is changing, so it zooms in. It's magnifying it, OK? Seeing the plus, I'm magnifying it all the way till I get to 6400%. Uh, That's as far as I could zoom in. You notice the plus is gone. That's as far as I can go. Now, watch what happens when I hit the Alt key. Whoa, there's a minus. That's kind of cool. Um, what do you think that does? You are absolutely correct. It zooms out, OK? So if I release the Alt key, it goes back to the normal magnifying glass. But if I hold the Alt key, I could zoom out. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom out by clicking and you notice that my percentage is changing and I'm zooming out and there we go and now I'm all the way out as far as I can go 3.13 percent okay so there we are zoomed out as possible remember if I release that alt key I get the plus if I hold down that alt key I get the minus and I zoom out so plus will zoom in alt key will move out in the zoom tool other things to notice with the um, with shortcuts and zooming um, control 1, the number 1, Control 1, will take me to 100%. But if, let's say I want to have the digital canvas on my screen so I could see the whole thing. I could hit Control 0, not to be confused with Control O. This is what happens when you hit Control O. O for, let's wait for it, open. Okay, I don't want to do that. I'm going to hit cancel. I don't want to hit Control O. I want to hit Control and the number 0. And we're at 86%. Now, if I go ahead and hit Control minus by the backspace, I'm going to hit Control minus. It zooms out. And if I hit Control plus, it zooms in. Whoa, kind of like I'm falling. Control minus, Control plus. OK, very cool. Um, let's say um, there's another way to do this. It's kind of like the there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's Pieces or Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Well, there's no wrong way to zoom in, zoom out. Whatever works for you. And that's why I'm showing you options. There's another way to zoom in, too. I'm going to go ahead and hit this down arrow here, and we look at all these things. These are all ways to zoom out. Remember this, I'm at 3.13%. And to zoom in, I could zoom in all the way to 6,400%. That's pretty far zoomed in. Let's say I want to hit Control-0. That's good. But then I zoom in. Control-0 is also to fit on screen. Watch this. So I'm fit on screen. We're at Control-0. Same thing, 86%, it fits on my screen, we're good, okay? So some pretty cool things that you want to um, do or learn and practice in Adobe uh, Illustrator on your own so that you know how to zoom, right? Because you want to zoom, 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 and you've got all these different ways to do it, okay? Very, very cool. Have some fun with it.